What's going on guys? We made it out to Crossville Dragway, uh, Rocky Top Diesel Shootout number nine. This is an awesome event that I've gotten to spend uh, a few times at over the years, thanks to my work with Hot Shots. And luckily this weekend, I get to come back here again. Now, it's gonna be a super busy weekend for me because we are doing a gas versus diesel shootout this weekend that we really don't belong in. Um, no, I'm not saying we don't belong in, but we've got no chance of winning but it's gonna allow me to make some test passes on the car and get it lined out, hopefully go a little bit faster uh, than we have been going. So just making progress there. I'm gonna get to visit a whole bunch of old friends that I haven't seen in a while, and I'm gonna do some work for Hot Shots. So it's gonna be an action-packed weekend. I'm super excited to be here, and we're gonna kick it off tonight with the Gas vs. Diesel shootout. So I'm gonna go right into getting the car ready, getting it sorted, so that way we can get down the track and hopefully put one of these big old diesels on the trailer round one. I don't know that it's going to work that way, but that's what we're going to try.
since it's gonna be out there, I mean, the, the boards are lit up. Um, we almost hit my goal. I've been struggling to, to get this thing into the five second range, which it probably should go pretty easily just based on weight, power, a number of things. Um, we're, we're still trying to figure it out. There's some things going on that we just don't understand, like why it'll make 19 pounds at the top of first. It made 19 pounds at the top of first there, but then it won't make 19 pounds throughout the rest of the run. Now, our setup is different. We don't have CO2, we don't have compressed air. We're using the compressor charge and dual four port Mac valves. It's a little bit different setup, it, but it should work. I don't, I don't see any, you know, there's no reason why it shouldn't be working. But we did personal best everything all around with the car. 136, 60 foot, 394 to the 330, uh, 608 um, to the eighth. You know, my goal this weekend, I guess now we can talk about it. I don't care about the gas versus diesel stuff. You guys just saw them guys make a pass. Look, I'm out here having fun and testing and getting to hang out with my friends. It's just a bonus I get to make passes. My goal for the weekend is gonna to be to put a 599 or better on the board. And really, we're there. We left on six pounds, 4,000 RPM. I can probably leave harder. Or I'd really like to figure out, and Derek and I have been going back and forth, but we've been having problems where, like this log, it logs to the first gear shift and then I guess when it shakes, uh, something about when I shift and it, and it jumps real hard, it's screwing the log up and it's cutting it out. So we're having a hard time finding the issue because we can't get a good log. But the only way we're gonna find it is to keep making passes. I'm gonna change some things. I'm gonna try a different way of logging this time and see if that helps us. And I may turn it up a little bit or what I should do and I even thought about doing while I was going down the track, I should grab the scramble in second and third gear that would kind of force it to make the boost but i, I want it to do it on its own we don't want to you know band-aid the problem that's how we could band-aid the problem and get around it i can make it make more boost if i grab the scramble but it should work the way it's intended to so we're working those issues out but 608 not too shabby at all dangerously close to a uh, to a five second pass and even though I, I still think that that's a ways away from where we need to be for as little amount of passes we have on the car can't complain i'm happy i'm happy i just 608 off the trail hanging up my friends you know it, it's wild to me but i come out to this event and all these diesel guys that i filmed and i worked with for hot shots and everything they're all cheering me on they're all happy as hell like congratulating me and you know that's awesome and it, it's just it's a great feeling so i'm having a great weekend and even though it's not something of the norm like the no prep and everything and the boards are on and it's prepped and it's still a great time, so I, I've got I've got no complaints about it whatsoever. I think we're gonna go. We're probably gonna end up going the fastest we've ever gone. I mean, we already did, you know, by a little bit of margin there. We're just gonna keep playing with it, keep figuring it out. Uh, right now, I'm gonna work on getting the logging situation. I'm gonna try something else and see if we can make that work. And if that works, we'll be good to go. And maybe now that everybody's made their test passes and they all see they're faster than me, maybe I can convince them to give me the back tire and a hit or something. I don't know. I mean, just a little something, something, even it up. Come on, guys, help a brother out. Yeah, remember, remember when I made you all them awesome videos and shit? All right, now it's time to pay a brother back. Let me get the back tire in <laughs> uh, It's great, though. I'm, I'm very happy, very, very happy with, with how it's going so far. To go off the trailer like that, go clean, A to B, no driving, no nothing. It vibrated, tire shake, obviously. we. That's just the problem we're going to have with running slicks on a prep track and the way we have the setup and everything we're, we're just always going to tire shake a little bit but it pulled the front tires so hopefully somebody got a cool picture and we'll get a cool thumbnail out of it and maybe i'll put a couple diesels on the trailer tonight you never know it's racing anything can happen not everybody made a clean pass not everybody made a full one so you never know we'll see then we got a little bit of drizzle coming through might mess up the track some you know mallory's asking me oh do i gotta line you up or anything you ain't gonna line me up we're street racers on a prep track. I can be six foot to the left, six foot to the right. It don't matter. We're going to go down. it, And we did. What's going on, guys? So, unfortunately, um, the race at Crossville Dragway, I'm sure you guys have all seen on the internet everything else. Uh, there was an unfortunate accident, and that race was canceled. So, we ended up packing up, and we were headed home and decided, you know what? There's like 20 racetracks on the way home. You know, uh, I kind of wasn't feeling it yesterday, but today I was feeling a little bit better about it. And I said, you know what, let's let's go ahead and go make some hits somewhere. We ended up none other than English Mountain Raceway. 
one of my favorite places in the country to race. Now they're doing a cash days next month that I'm locked into. So this was the perfect opportunity for us to come out here, make some test hits and start getting some data on this. Uh, I've got a few things I wanna try. We're gonna try logging uh, the ECU a different way. This time we're gonna use the handheld screen. I have it set up on an auto start based on throttle position. So hopefully that works out for us. We're gonna test that out. Um, we're also going to see if we can make any improvement on some of our fastest uh, times here. This track is not as good as Crossville. As far as the surface, they're racing. As far as the surface and everything else, so it'll be a little trickier to go faster here. But it also gives us a good opportunity to get some data and get a step ahead for the shootout that's happening next month. So we're going to load up. I mean. We're at the point now, they're, they're making hits, the track is open. What I'm gonna do now is go ahead and make a test just to make sure everything is good, see if our new data logging system, uh, the way I have it set up is gonna work, and see what we can do on down this track. Fist bump, give me a fist bump. Give me a fist bump. didn't work quite as planned um, we we hit some bumps out there and it jostled some stuff between the shift and the bumps and it just shut the car off so we came back we checked everything um, we just had one connection that was a little loose and between being on the trailer for who knows at this point 15 hours driving this car across the country going to tracks tightening stuff up working on everything it's just we we missed a little something no big deal got it fixed up and I'm gonna go make another one um, and see if we can get down it. Uh, we've been hitting it with way too much power and right now I just really beat it over the head with taking power out of it off the hit. So we're gonna see if that works and uh, go from there.
Well, things haven't been going quite according to plan. We've been having some little issues here and there. Um, I think trying to run it back to back causes some issues. We hit some safety cuts. We're looking over some stuff because some of the data that it's telling us is not making a lot of sense. So uh, I did a little, made a few little changes and we've checked some things, everything checks out. So we're gonna try again and just make sure that we're not uh, getting some kind of, some false readings or anything like that. Um, I, I don't have any reason to believe they're false, but just the way that some of this stuff is jumping around doesn't make sense. So we're just gonna shake it down one more time. We're gonna go up in the lanes now, try to make another one and just see what happens. Well, wouldn't you know, we got up to the lanes and I don't know if you guys can tell in the video or it's gonna be kind of hard, but you see, it's just now started drizzling. It's, uh, it's not a lot, but we're already, you know, trying to push this thing pretty hard and trying to do some stupid stuff. I don't feel the need to try to go down it right now with the, with the rain coming down. We'll probably pack up the tent and stuff, but hold off on putting the car away just in case maybe this breezes through 15, 20 minutes, then, you know, they send some cars down, dry it up or something. But if not, it might be it for this weekend. So we're going to wait. You know, we've got nowhere to be. We're still a day's drive from home. Um, so we're just gonna hang out for a little bit, see what happens. If we end up getting to make another one, great. If not, eh, it's the way it goes. We've been dealing with rain all year, it seems like. But uh, we made a couple of them. I know we've got some issues. We, got, we definitely have to do some more testing. Um, but <clears throat> over the weekend, we made the fastest pass cars ever made. On a front side prep track, works great. But I think front side prep track also eliminates a lot of, the, the prep track will eat a lot of stuff that's not right. Like the no prep will show you what's not right with your chassis and your tune up and everything else. The prep track will just eat it all. So yeah, I think this guy just tried to go down and spun a bunch and that was pretty much my clear cut sign that it's time to start packing up. So hopefully this breezes through. If not, I'm just gonna have to catch you guys in the next video. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Been feeling some kind of way about these cars. Man, been feeling some kind of way. I really, the thing that's bugging me is that the things that I want this car to do, the Nova chassis already does. That's what's been bugging me. And also, this is mild steel. I've got a Chrome Molly one. I don't know, man. But we're gonna keep plugging away at it, see what we can make happen. And uh, hopefully next week, I've got some things going on, so. You guys will be in tune for that. See some other new stuff we got going on. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. As many of you guys know, Turbo Tom was the one involved in the accident in Crossville Dragway this weekend. Unfortunately, he succumbed to his injuries and lost his life doing the thing that he loves most. I met Tom a number of years ago over at Cecil County Dragway, and he was the first fast diesel truck I'd ever seen in my life. Spent some time with him over the years, traveling the ODSS series, working with Hot Shot Secret. Was inspired by his never quit attitude, his ability to build everything at home in his little garage, and inspire people across the country as the people's champ. It was an unfortunate incident, and I ask that you guys please pray for his friends and family, as this is a difficult time, and they could definitely use it. Rest in peace, Turbo Tom.